The word yawm, which means day, in the singular, without any suffixes. I say without suffixes because we have in the Quran yawm ma'idhin, that day. And uh, while that day are two words in, in, in English, in Arabic it is written together without any space. Almost like a kind of a hyphenated word, you might say. Uh, but, but when the word yawm occurs in the singular without any such suffixes, uh, we count them and we see that they're exactly 365, which as you know is the approximate number of days in the solar year. Uh, sometimes people ask me, well, why is it not 354? Because that's a lunar year and Muslims follow the lunar calendar. And my answer to that is that, in fact, both calendars are acknowledged in the Quran because uh, both uh, stem from the natural uh, phenomena that Allah has created. Allah has created the moon and Allah has created the sun. And both calendars are useful. While we follow the lunar calendar for our observances, we're going to cite the moon and then uh, celebrate the Eid, for example, coming up. That's our religious observances. But if Muslims would, would farm, then Muslims have to know the seasons in the year, right? And the seasons in the year are regulated according to the solar calendar. So we need to know both, uh, even as Muslims. And both are acknowledged in the Quran in Surah Al-Kahf because we know the story of the people of the cave. It says that they remained in the cave for 300 years and then the Quran puts it in a, in a strange way by saying, وَزْدَادُوا tisa, And they, they add nine. Uh, and that amounts to 309. But why did the Quran put it in such a strange way by saying 300 and add 9 instead of just simply saying 309? Well, the commentators on the Quran say that uh, the, it's put in this way because 300 is the count of uh, solar years and 309 is the equivalent in lunar years, which means that the Quran has obviously acknowledged the existence of both calendars and the validity for different purposes. So uh, now let's step back and, and think about uh, what we have just observed here. Uh, in the Quran, the word yawm in the singular for day occurs exactly 365 times. What are the chances that you will pick up a book, any book, and if you ask yourself, how many times does this book mention the word day? What are the chances that this book will mention the word day exactly 365 times? The chances are very remote. Uh, and the fact that this is found in the Quran, again, shows that there is a divine hand behind the Quran. This is not a human work. It is the work of God. It is the word of God.